Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Double honesty, our apostles and elders, the great millstone, and the salutations to the hopeful and faithful elect, preaching this truth and sincerity and diligence. I want to do a, a, a straight to the point lesson on um, reincarnation. Because um, reincarnation is scriptural, it's biblical, it's not a uh, Hindu, you know. So, um, with that being said, let me. Uh, Get a scripture. Start off with uh, Hebrews 9 27. So this is Hebrews 9 and 27. It says, And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Now, reading that scripture, it don't mean, because uh, you know, if you're reincarnated, that means reincarnation basically means, uh, re means again. And incarnate means in the flesh. So you in the flesh again. So what that saying is, it is a, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment, that flesh dies, and then the spirit goes to the Father, get judged, and come back on earth and play that judgment out. Now let's let's prove that statement. Uh following up Hebrews 9 and 27. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. It says, And moreover, I said under the sun, Salakia, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So it says, uh, the place under the sun. Now, the place under the sun is talking about earth, because earth is what? Full of wickedness right now, full of iniquity. And that's what he's talking about, all right? He says, and moreover, I saw under the sun, you know, because the earth is, you know, you got the sun in the sky and, you know, it says the place of judgment. Now, earth is the place of judgment, all right? The earth is under the sun. Earth is where you come out to, uh, for the judgment that you're going to receive, you know, depending on the life you lived on earth. It says that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. Now, let's get another scripture, all right, to further produce the point all right this is ecclesiastes 12 and 7 it says then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it because when you die you know your body your body is made up of uh the dust of the earth meaning all the minerals in the earth is, is comprised in your body all right so when your when the flesh die when the body die it goes back to the earth where it came from and the spirit goes back to the uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Yahweh, is, the, the scripture says, he's the father of spirits. So it goes back to him. He gave it. So that, that scripture also cuts the hell doctrine. All right. But that don't mean it's over. All right. Because follow up the next scripture. Job 9, 19 and 26. Let's see what this say. I'll start at 26. It says, And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see the most high. Because after you die, what happens? You get buried, you go in the ground, you start to can worms and beetles and all type of things be up in your body. It destroy it, but the flesh decays, right? But he also said, Yet in my flesh shall I see the most high. So that means he's going to get a, another body, you know? It says, Whom, uh, verse 27. Whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Reins. Let's look up the word reins. Kidneys, physical or organ. Okay, basically his insides, his innards. Though his innards be consumed within him, you know, though they die, though they rot. Yet, it says, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. So, basically, Job understood reincarnation. He knew that, uh, going back to Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, when the body dies, I mean, when you die, the body goes back to the uh, the dust, and the spirit goes back to the Father who gave it. Now, let's uh, get some more scriptures. Okay? Following Job. Now, let's go to the Daniel. All right? This is Daniel chapter 12. Verse 13, it says, But go thou thy way 
to the end be. It says, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. Salakia. So it says, uh, basically the Lord was telling Daniel. What you finna do? You gotta wait for a second. I gotta wait to sit in the yeah. I'm doing something. Give me like five minutes. Thank you. So like I can. It says, uh, but go thou thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy let's look at rest. Rest. I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says, well, okay, it says to rest, to settle down, to uh, have rest. And then, okay, let's go to H3241. Asleep. Okay. Now let's click on that. To be drowsy, to slumber, to sleep. So, but go thy way to the end, be for thou shalt rest. So thou shalt sleep. You know, sleep. They say, you know, sleep is the cousin of death, whatever. But, you know, sleep was being, you know, rest is uh, in place of death right there. For thou shalt die, basically, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. So Daniel was at a certain time period. You know, he was at the time period of the Babylonian Empire and Nebuchadnezzar, right? But through the through prophecy, it, uh, it was told to Daniel, the most I told Daniel, that he was going to stand in his lot at the end of days. And what was his lot? Lot, his portion, you know. And what was his portion? His portion was to be a prophet. All right. Now let's uh go to. Let's let's uh precept that with uh. With the uh, with a, with a scripture real quick, so like you. 